look, we're all trying to have a crystal ball on what's happening with lumber prices because it affects all of us, whether we're a builder, contractor, homeowner, lender, or even in the lumber industry, where the prices are going is going to affect our future and what plans we make. So here's a recent article from Fortune saying that lumber prices warned about inflation are trying to tell us something. What is it trying to tell us? And here's the very volatile chart of lumber prices of where they've been. And obviously, we've talked about for many decades, they always stayed in the, you know, roughly three to 400 range. Now, they've been up over 1,000, back under 1,000. What are they saying? Well, buried in this article is a very interesting fact. Let's take a look. Here it is right here. The way lumber prices behave in the fall when commodity prices traditionally rise could be a big signal in how bad the economic contraction will be. That's the question. It will be interesting to see if lumber starts to move back up. It would tell us that the U.S. economy is starting to sift through the interest rate hikes and the inflation and that the economy may not be as bad as what people think it will be. That's the key. We're already starting to see people get used to the the higher interest rates, especially in real estate, and the real estate sales volume, although it's lower, the prices haven't gone down. There's already been some job numbers that have come out, 300,000 some odd new jobs formed. There's certainly a, an, 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 I guess an emotional reaction to inflation and lumber prices and interest rates and gasoline prices that happened in you know May, beginning of June, middle of June. So people pulled back and they put, took a breath. The question is going to be what happens after the summer once people get over their vacations and over their uh, out of quarantine for corona and all the other factors that have kept us distracted for years and decide what are we going to do now? Are we going to buy a new house? Are we going to add on to our house? Are we going to spend more money? Or is the economy going to collapse further? Right, The economy zipped up it leveled off a little bit now the question is does it dive or does it continue to, to climb regardless it's certainly not going to climb at the same rate that it did before but the fact that there's inflation there's a fact that employment numbers are still looking good could indicate that the next move could be slightly higher and if real estate moves higher then the lumber prices are going to follow suit if you think about it, there's been a pullback on the retail side because people are staring at $6 gas, 6% mortgage rates, higher food bills, and so they pull back. The lumber industry did the same emotional pullback. The question is, once the fundamentals kick in, what's going to happen? So, you know, here it is, basically the middle of July. Let's all keep an eye on it. And maybe in September, October, circle back again and look, see where we're at. Compare the lumber price then to what it is now in the overall economy. It can be a leading indicator in some cases, but also when it's emotional, it can be a lagging indicator. It could be that people get scared and don't buy the lumber futures. A lot of builders who build more in the summer, in the fall, have already bought their lumber. There's some parts of the country that don't do as much for lumber framing construction in the cold winter months some parts of the country you just can't build so when that pullback naturally happens we'll see how far back it goes if it stays the same or creeps up a little more that means that we're probably kind of in line and being prepared for a higher move up it's kind of like the groundhog if you see a shadow he's going to run back for six more months of winter. So if you see a pullback in the fall, that probably means there's more downside to happen. On the other hand, if the, the lumber price groundhog does not see a shadow of a downward move in the fall, that means that consumers are at least holding strong for now and the future might be higher lumber prices or at least lock them in at six or 700 and then that may be the new range for years to come.